Hello and welcome. Are you ready to learn some tips and tricks? Great, let's get right into it. An important tool you need to learn how to use is grid snapping. When you want to line things up or make things look uniform, grid snapping is the way to go. On the hotkeys to the left, you can see it says grid snap off. This is the default setting. When grid snap is off, you can put an item anywhere. When you change grid snapping to on, you will see that it changes to 32. That means you have 32 spots as you go across each of these squares. You can see, every time you use the grid snap as you place down an item, it makes the number smaller. The number shows how many snapping points you have left in the square you are working in. If you get down to, for example, two, that means you only have two snap spots left. Try to build a wall with grid snapping off. As you can see, the edges are not connecting. Use grid snapping to bring them together. See? Easy! By using grid snapping, you can line up edges or you can make items snap to the exact spot you want. All right, you placed your item in just the right spot, except it's facing in the wrong direction. It's time to learn how to rotate your props. You can see the shortcuts for rotation on the left-hand side. You can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. You can even adjust the axis or reset it if you liked how it looked better. If you have grid snapping turned off, the item rotates freely, like this. Whee! However, with grid snapping turned on, you'll need eight rotations to make a half turn and 16 to make a full one. On the left, you'll notice the rotation axis, which controls the pitch, yaw, and roll. The pitch is when you move the front of an object up or down. Yaw is when you move the front of an object from side to side. And roll, as it sounds, is a circular movement of the object, clockwise or counterclockwise. You can see a widget in the middle of the item that you are rotating. This will indicate which direction the pitch, yaw, or roll is when you rotate. If you want to keep the item in a fixed location, for example, you want to put it against the back of this wall, you can turn on snapping, and then it will stay in its snap spot while it's rotated. Turning snapping off while rotating will allow you to move your item while you rotate it. Both are useful depending on what you are trying to achieve. Something else you can do with props is resizing them. Here you have a bunch of computers you want to put on your wall. Hmm, they don't really look right because they are too big. Luckily, you can make them smaller with the resizing tool. On the left-hand side in your shortcuts, you will see resizing. If you don't happen to see it, you'll notice on the bottom left that it says resize, hold, off, or on. If you hold that shortcut, it will turn on resizing instead of rotation. Once you have resize enabled, you can grow or shrink your items and change the axis on which they will resize. Changing the axis you resize on means you can control any items width, height, and depth, or all three at once if you want. Give it a try. You can always reset it if you make a mistake. One thing you might find interesting is you can invert, or make negative, one of your directions. If you were to shrink it enough along one of the axes, you would end up mirroring it. You can see the original item on the left and the mirrored version on the right. To do this, you'll want to make sure grid snapping is set to the off position. A real time saver when you're building is the selection tool. Go ahead and pick out some flooring. Okay, cute! Now before you go pasting the same tile over and over again, try using the select tool. By using the select option, you can select the individual props you want, and then you can copy or cut them. In this case, you're going to copy them and then paste them to lay out your floor three tiles at a time instead of one tile at a time. Not only can you copy and paste them, but you can cut them too. So in this case, if you've made a mistake, you can cut out the tiles that you put in the wrong place and then paste them into the correct spot. There is, however, a limit when you're selecting. You can only select up to 100 props at a time. On the left-hand side, you'll see the current number of items you have selected. The nice thing is, is you can hold down the select hotkey and select all your items at once. You can copy a big item, like you can see here, move it over to another spot, and you've duplicated an entire room with just one action. Another thing you can do with your selected items is add it to your quick bar. Make sure you're highlighting one of the items, then hold down the corresponding quick bar hotkey and paste. All right, one last trick. On the left in your shortcuts menu, you'll notice we have drops turned on. The items will drop down to your near surface when pasting something you've selected. For example, when you drop this pipe on top of another pipe, it's not lined up correctly. If you want to avoid this, you can turn drops off and it's simply going to paste it wherever you want to put it. Okay, you're ready to combine everything you've learned and try it yourself. Have fun!